Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with a new series. Uh, I'm going to flip this and see if it hopefully doesn't mess up any of your guys' YouTube videos. Um, just so that the mics are positioned right. Um, so this is a, a technically an AFK game, Mobile Legends Adventure. Um, the only reason I downloaded it is because there are very great reviews. Um, it's a 4.6, 4.7 stars, which is some of the highest ratings I've seen on most free-to-play games. This also came out like a few years ago. Uh, I think they said 2016 or something. Like, it's been a while. Um, and there's still good reviews coming out. So I decided to play it. And uh, to my not surprise because of the rating, it was actually very good. And um, early progression does not seem that hard. Um, I already have a full five-star team. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll just bring you guys with my team. Um, and I have a lot of five-stars already. And it's the second day. I started playing this before I recorded my Macarena video. So from 1 to 2 o'clock last night, I was playing this. Just grinding. Um, and also because I downloaded it before 1, actually. So, like, maybe around 11, 30. Um, because I was able to go to the second day right away because it starts, like, at midnight or something. Um, the way you I checked that and I know is because if I go to events and I go to... Login, as you can see, there's 10 hours left, so I basically have to wait until midnight. Um, so yeah, that, that might suck because I now have to record at midnight for most of these. I already got Valkyrie, so I'll just, um, I'll talk about how I can use materials from my other heroes on her. And it's, it's such a good system. This game is very good. I suggest you download it right now, and paying money will just be even better. Of course, you know, games that progress you by paying are obviously pay to win. Um, however, like, you keep winning, and really there's only campaign and, um, was it, uh, arena. There's some other stuff too, but everything else is just progression really like you don't have to pay um you can if you want but really it rewards you very well and um you just have to wait few, eight hours or something come back collect your stuff from campaign and you're good um they also give you a free five star when you beat campaign level four which is amaterasu um and she's actually decent she's very good and she's an order hero so she works on team synergies because order heroes, I'll explain that in a bit, work with everything. Um, yeah, very good. Um, I just have positive things to say about this game. Nothing really <laughs> negative to say about it. Um, yeah, and uh, I have a lot of five star. So from Bane down, those three, the three five, first five stars, Raphaelia, Idoria, and Bane, those are actually three stars that go to, that I fuse to five stars. So even just early progression, you can get five stars, even with your three stars. As you can see, there's another Raphaelia, another Bane, and then, yeah, you can see them down there. Um, so yeah, Hayabasu, Lapu Lapu, Thamas, um, Guinevere. Hylos, Hylos, Nimbus, Eudora, Layla, Amaterasu, Freya, Akai, and Lancelot. Those are all five-star heroes that I've gotten, and it's been two days. <laughs> um, I almost have fully maxed out team. Sorry, I didn't speak very good English there. Can I? Okay, cool. I might have to move this record button. Okay. Um, so as you can see, they unlock this skill at level 61. So first it's, you get the ultimate, obviously. Then this is at level 11. This is at level 21. Or is it 41? Right here, let's check. Oh uh, yeah, so 11, 41, and 61. But uh, at level 21, you do upgrade either their ultimate. No, no, it's their second skill. Their second skill once. So if I go to Lancelot, 
So you can see his second skill is level 2. So when you upgrade to level 21, it just has a little bit of buff. Same with all my other heroes. Uh, I'm trying to upgrade them all to 60 first because I don't have enough of um, these, whatever these are called. It doesn't tell me what they're called. Um, but yeah, and then you get their ultimate, their, well, technically they're passives. I think most of them are passives, but some of them are attacks. Um, that's a passive. That's a skill, yeah. Um... So yeah, and I have a pretty balanced team. I was using Rafalia, but she is weaker in every sense because she's obviously a three-star hero. Um, but she was really the only healer I had. And then I got Freya, and I was like, you know what? I'll just go DPS. Um, and then I got Nimbus Udora. So she's a, as you can see at the top, she's switching between elemental and um, martial artist. So I'll explain all of the typings in a second um actually you know we can do that now so there's elemental there's tech there is martial there's light there's dark there's order and there's chaos um i guess i have to battle in order for to show you guys the um weaknesses so actually let's just start a, a random campaign battle or you know continue on the campaign um, we'll slow this down, and, um, oh, it doesn't tell me. Can I see over here? No, okay. So you get synergies with your heroes. Um, so as you can see, order type heroes can form attributes and resonance with heroes of any other type. So they're basically just freebies. Um, chaoses provide, like, per chaos hero, they just provide extra stuff. Um... But it's cumulative, so if you have all five, then you get all five effects. But if not, then uh, good luck. Um, so yeah, right now I have four Marshall technically. Um, because... Okay, so now I have to explain what double attributes are. So some characters have double attributes, which they're just hybrids. So if you look here... When a hybrid hero forms resonance, a type that can form the best resonance will take precedence. And they're also not weak to any type. And not to each other either. So they're basically the best heroes in the game to get. Because um, they have no weakness typing. And um, you can basically just put them on any... Well, not on any team. You have to put them on a team that um, is with their typing. So it's very cool. And uh, another thing that I really love about this game, it has uh, one of my favorite anime characters ever. Belle Crenell from Don Machi. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? I know I sound a little simpy, but the anime is so awesome when it came out. Um, the light novel is awesome too. It's at a really good peak right now. We're about to get into uh, Belle's uh, big hero moment. I just hope he becomes more serious because right now he likes leveling up and being a hero but he just likes saving people he doesn't like fighting or like he does get stronger it you, you gotta watch i'm not gonna ruin the anime for you at all um but as you can see he's also a hybrid so he's elemental martial um so yeah there are a few characters like that and um i'm trying to collect all of them because those are probably the best um just because they don't have any weaknesses and you can really put them on any resonance. I mean, these three can go on the same team or Bell and Nimbus Adora would be on the same because Miracle Clara just has um, Dark. So she wouldn't work very well unless you had um, different synergy that you were trying to go for. Um, but yeah, very cool. Um, basically, like every other, you know, 5v4 5v5 uh, idle turn battle based game with ultimates and skills except the combat is really interesting um there's like auras and paths and uh, different zones on the battlefield so the battle system is very intuitive um it's completely different to everything i've seen before it's not just the hero stays in one spot and then there's your side and the enemy side there's sections to your side you can place heroes like in different various ways there's six spots 
that you can place heroes and you can only use five, which is very interesting, but it allows you to make different combinations and different setups. So it's very cool and intuitive. So I do encourage people to just download it, play it, see how it is. I guarantee you won't be disappointed with the progress and just how the game is going in general. Um, yeah, it's just great. I don't know what else to say, guys. So 60, 60, 60, and I need to upgrade you as well. So she is my first a hybrid character. So she's Elemental Marshall. Um, so very good. I'm happy that I got that early on. Um, so that I don't have to really wait for... Um, I just don't have to wait to get multiple. Because you do want multiple of those, but you want them to be sort of the same faction. Because they're technically hybrid, so you know they can be. They just have to have the faction typing within their hybrid typing, um, and you'll be fine. Honestly, if you had all the same typing and then all this, yeah, it would work. I don't think you can get double. Like I don't think that works. You can't get double. Um, whatever this is called, resonance. I don't think it works that way. I really hate how all these terms are different in all these different games. Like, come on. <laughs> Can can like, can we make a idle five v five game dictionary where all the terms are the same so that uh people don't get confused between games? Because resonance is something completely different in this light, something completely different in uh idle heroes or idle awakening, idle heroes as well. Like there's just so much stuff that um is the same but differently named, and then it. It's the same in other games, but it's a different thing. It's just really confusing. Um. So anyway, I'm just going to do a campaign today, just kind of blasting through it. Uh, can I upgrade you again? Oh, heck yeah. Okay, I need two more levels on her, and then I can finally upgrade one person. Oh, I don't, I don't like that you did that. Okay, I'll upgrade that to level 20. Oh, okay, that was the only one. Interesting. Um, yeah, let's just continue now. So my team consists of a tank, well, two tanks. Um, this person heals. Oh, well, whoops, sorry. So I guess I got to just click and hold on her. Um, so she will deal damage, um, acquire a stack of shield equal to 175% of her attack, and then the absorb damage which is basically 175% of her attack, which is a little bit less than 1,600. Um, she basically heals, which is amazing. Um, and she blocks all that damage. So she basically lasts longer. Um, very good. She is kind of a, um enemy side attacker, so I'll explain how that combat works. But basically, your heroes can go to the other side of the enemy, basically the enemy side. And it works differently than heroes that are on your side because you either defend your side or the heroes go on the other side. It's very interesting and cool how that works. And it's built into their skills specifically. So this one, she mostly just jumps into the middle of the enemies, but she's basically on the enemy side, um, which is good because she tanks for my Lancelot, and I'll talk about him in a second. Um, then her third skill, so strikes the closest enemy rapidly three times, and then... In Valkyrie stage, she deals AoE damage to enemies in front of her. This is... How does she go Valkyrie? Oh, that's her ultimate. So once she gets her ultimate... So they have like the transformation skill with their ultimate sometimes. It's very cool. So it's called Morph here. Um, in Valkyrie states, her basic attack does AoE damage to enemies in front of her. Very good for grouped enemies and very good for her because she literally just goes into the middle of where all the enemies are. So... Basically, she'll be doing AoE damage for your team. She tanks and she lasts and she gets the attention of enemies because she jumps, you know, straight in onto them. Very good. Oh, whoopsies. Uh, I'm, I'm clicking the wrong thing. It works very differently in other games. Um, so Kai is a very good tank support. Yes, he's a tank, but for the most part, he's a tank support. Um, he gives shield to everyone. Um... And then he does this spinning thing, which is cool. And then he knocks down. And he's also immune to crowd control, which is 
very cool with control effect um, during the spin. So very cool. Um, you want to be immune to control effects because those are just really annoying. Um, then his second passive, so he provides a shield. So that's what I was talking about to all allies. 275% of his attack. Basically, well, around 20k. Um, or sorry, 2k, which is a decent amount. Um, most heroes don't do that much damage with their ultimate, so... And they, the um, enemy and you attack with your basics anyway for a while, as you guys saw with the battles. Um, so you basically tank all the uh, basic damage, and then once they do their ultimate, you will obviously eat that with your health, but um, it's fine because he's very tanky. He has 21,000 HP. Um, and then uh, Chaos Breaker. This is a frog... We have a frog energy to the target direction, dealing damage. Okay, interesting. So yeah, just another damage thing. Um, so he's just a good tank. He deals damage. He has a lot of HP. Um, Decline that call. Um, does Valkyrie have a lot of HP? I just need to check. She only has 18k, but she does gain a shield, and then she has double shields. She will tank all the passives... Uh, all the basics with um Kai's, is that his name? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is his name. Um, honestly, Akai. Sorry, Akai. He should have been Kung Fu Panda. That would have been cool. Um, so yeah, very cool. And um, now I'll talk about Lancelot because he's the second part of my strategy. So this is the defensive offensive part of my strategy. Um. Technically, I have more stuff in that category, but I'll talk about the two other characters later because they're backline heroes. They stay on my side. And as you can see, there's zones, so you can place up to two heroes, but you can only use five. So very intuitive how that works. Very cool. So um, Lancelot. Very cool character. He's basically just... He charges into the enemy territory, and he will just deal a lot of burst damage. Um, and AoE, too. So he thrusts his sword forward with all his strength, becomes invincible temporarily. So very good when he's on the enemy team side because he's going to be uh, obviously taking aggro from the enemy. Um, for the most part, some enemies don't pay attention, which is very interesting because you kind of want to get rid of the backline hero that is attacking your backline because that's usually where support and healers are. And if... You get rid of that on the enemy team. They're basically screwed. Um, so yeah, very cool. And um, he does more damage the less HP they have. So very cool. Uh, very strong. And uh, yeah, so this is his skill. So he cuts through the enemy line, directly attacks the back of the enemy from their back. And he just stays there. And then all of his other skills basically run off of this. So he'll attack with his basic once or twice like in the defensive position on your side, and then he just blinks to the other side and starts attacking the support. So it's very strong because um, the all the enemy that is targeting him will suddenly have to target another enemy, so they'll waste time going to one of your allies while Lancelot is just attacking the support. So very strong. Um, he can't be easily targeted by ranged enemies, which is where most... the back line is where most of the... Uh, ranged enemies are because they have support and most of them are mages um so yeah very strong and uh he also becomes immune to control effects so very good just perfect so i have two characters that are just immune to control effects uh with their skills so very cool um and then he just, he just does multiple damage he just does burst damage it's so good um i think that's what the behead is because burst i think is multiple enemies whereas behead is just single enemy so he's kind of kill confirm um and his best passive so good after he kills the target he gains 15 percent, and it's very easy for him to kill the enemy so basically he'll double his damage because it won't exceed his own damage um oh wait i i think it, no it stacks Oh, okay, so he'll acquire 15%, but if it's like a boss that has a lot of attack. um, Sorry, I meant attack, not defense. um, He'll gain as much attack as he has at most. 
which is insane. He can basically double his damage, um, which is a lot. Um, so yeah, so those are basically the mostly offensive characters I have. And then defensive and support, I have Amaterasu. Um, she's actually very good for a free legendary hero. Super strong. Um, so she transforms into a sacred space. So it's very interesting. They basically form a giant area around them in a circular pattern basically around them. And some heroes do this. So it's very cool. Um, basically, it becomes like their zone of like, you're in that zone as an enemy, you're in trouble. <laughs> um, so yeah, she basically just attacks constantly and it's a 0 0.1 second cooldown. So if you're in her zone, you're going to be taking damage after damage after damage after damage. Um, reduce attack, uh, agility 50%, yeah, it locks at eight, level 81. So very good, very powerful. Um, other than that, she just attacks normally, and um, she attacks the back row character, so very cool. So works with my land slot very well, so just a little bit more support for him. Fires four arrows, and then does 90% because I have her upgraded beyond level 21, or at least to level 21. Um, yeah, very cool. And then her passive, well, I think it's her first passive, yeah, her first passive. Um, Basically, when she carries out consecutive skills or attacks, um, basic attacks, on the same enemy, the damage increases 20% of her attack each time she attacks, stacking up to 15 times. Um, I, I cannot tell you how broken that is. I mean, just how it sounds. It sounds broken, especially with her ultimate. So basically, she activates her ultimate, and this passive becomes insanely broken because every 0 0.1 seconds... And it goes to 80 attack, then 100 attack, and then 120. It stacks 15 times. So you can get up to, what is it, 100, and then, yeah, 300 plus attack, which is insane. And then she can also crit, or she stills crit, which is really good. Um, Yeah, so super broken. And then her other passive is... I don't have it unlocked yet, so we won't review that. Um, and then my last hero is my double hero, Nimbus Eudora. Um, she, very cool. Um, so Eudora is technically a secret rare, so a three star in this game, but they have alternates of heroes, which I think is very cool. Um, so she's mostly support, actually, um, but she is a mage, so... Summon two phantoms. Damage taking by her is transferred to the phantom, so she basically survives. A little bit tanky. Very good because there's, like I said, there's a lot of heroes that target backline, um, like my Landslot and Amaterasu. So the fact that all the damage, she basically helps herself stay alive and kind of anti-backline um, target strategy. So very good. Um... The phantoms fly to the lowest HP and explode upon death or disappearing. So very good because now when they die, they'll just go to basically kill confirm. So very good. Um, and they deal 350% of her attack. So ridiculous. Um, ridiculous. Just super powerful. But that is her ultimate. So let's go to her second skill. She shoots lightning bolts at the nearest enemy, dealing damage equal to 60 percent of her attack three times so 100 sorry 180 percent um each time triggers extra damage dealt by storm caller so that is her third skill nimbus adora grants allies the power of lightning making their next 18 basic attacks deal extra damage equal to three percent of their max targets max hp obviously all the characters have more hp than they do attack so this is broken. I, I can't tell you like how broken it is, but very cool, very, very strong. Um and then yeah, so she's anti uh back strategy, and I say that because of her last skill. Won't really talk about it, but yeah, she deals damage, stuns them, and um triggers every ten seconds. So <laughs> you know it's powerful. Um I have to wait to upgrade my heroes and 
grind actually because I don't have near oh actually now I have enough um so I can actually upgrade you twice hopefully okay only once but I only have to upgrade you one more time and then I can we can probably still win this yeah actually our, our team is very good so Like, as you can see, we're barely taking damage, and this is technically a stronger team. We might have a problem if we go up against a boss. But yeah, the only problem is we don't have healing, which I would probably replace Amaterasu. Um, though, um, Lancelot, Valkyrie, and Amaterasu can all heal themselves, so I don't know. We'll see about that. Oh, do I have enough now? Dang it. Okay, I need just a little bit more. Um, but yeah, very rewarding. Recommend you download. Not a boss battle? Okay, cool. I think we can still win this. It's mostly just because of the shields we have. It's just tanking all of that damage. And what sucks is that the ultimates take forever to uh, launch. There's not really turn-based. I think it's... Well, I guess it is turn-based. And, uh, you know, you just have to win with one hero, really. I mean, that's usually how campaign works. Perfect. All right, so now we can go to you. Finally upgrade you, and then I can get... Yes, the rest of this so that I can finally upgrade a hero when I have enough. Um, probably when I come back later tonight. But um, yeah, that's this game. Uh, I recommend you download it. It's very fun. It's surprisingly different than most games, considering that it's an old game. And um, yeah, so always thank you guys for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. It really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you up to date with my content. 68 subscribers and going strong last time I checked. So you guys are amazing. Keep going. And um, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very cool game recommend it um yeah that's all i can say and uh, yeah i also recommend spending money because uh you're not going to regret it um and i'm not sponsored so don't worry i'm not being biased but yeah as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later <clears throat>